Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today, it's going to be a match between Last and Shuttle here on Circuit Breakers. Bottom left-hand corner, it is the Red Terran player. It is Last. And in the top right-hand corner, the Orange. Yeah, we'll call him Orange Protoss player, Shuttle. Okay, so two dudes who are very popular on the channel. Last, one of the best Terran players on planet Earth right now. Shuttle, definitely one of the best Protoss players on planet Earth. Going to be a momentous occasion, a meeting of the Titans here on Circuit Breakers. Got this replay off of TeamLiquid.net and the forum. A great place to go for StarCraft information in general. I go to Team Liquid pretty much every day to find out uh, the results of tournaments, uh, as well as just make sure how much damage does this spell do again, that kind of stuff. It's kind of a great source for information for all things StarCraft. Wonderful, wonderful place to live. If you have to live somewhere on the internet, I'd live at TL.net. I think that'd be my home. All right, so welcome aboard then. This uh, this is Falcon Paladin, in case this is your first time here. Dun, 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 dun. We're just hanging out on Circuit Breakers, having a good time. Having a good time, having a good time. So I've been watching Letterkenny. It is a Canadian program, Canadian TV program. It's a, we'll call it a comedy, because that's what it is. Some drama in there as well, but I think all comedies have some elements of drama. Anyway, uh, they just have a very specific way of talking, and the writing is just top-notch. Top-notch good stuff, man. So, I've actually noticed it affecting my casting a little bit, too, <laughs> where the way that I say certain things is heavily affected by Letterkenny. It's on Hulu in the United States. It is definitely not safe for work, uh, just for language, uh, a lot of adult uh, discussions in general there, but uh, it is fantastically hilarious and just so good I just shows that have good writing just have a place in my heart is what they have I, I was a communications major in college years ago and I just like it writing is important stuff to me anyway so TVP action here what we're gonna see here is likely just jumping directly into mech from last there's no real reason to go for bio against Protoss just because Storm exists and Reavers exist and all sorts of things that make you want to die exist. If you're going to go uh, for Bio against a Protoss player. Now, what you might want to do is have a bunker full of Marines at some point here because the Dragoon openings are pretty good for Protoss these days. And that's got to be Singularity Charge, doesn't it? Like, Shuttle's going to go for Singularity Charge as soon as, soon as he can afford it. Let's see. Let's see if he goes. Let's see if he goes. Yep, there it is. Bam. As soon as he could get it. Singularity charge indicates very much Dragoon pressure. Coming so far. SCV scouting around. Another SCV scouting around. Last is really worried about seeing what uh, what Shuttle is up to here. Two SCV scouts from this dude. You don't see this a lot. It is a four-player map. It's a big map. As a result, problematic. This SCV is going to see the Dragoon. It takes like eight shots. One, two, three... You'd think Dragoons would be faster because they have four legs, but four, five, six. Boy, is it six. That is a lot of hits, man. Okay, so it is going to be Dragoon pressure here. Another gateway is probably going to come up. And so last is definitely going for a very fast machine shop in response. Going to get Siege Moon, going to get tanks, and then expand onto the high ground. He's worried about this. Dragoons are coming out. Actually, doesn't seem like a crazy amount of Dragoons here. Just one, two, three. Without another gateway, it's hard to get up a huge number of them. But you can get, you know, four or five for when you need them to be here. But, yeah, tank in production. Not going for siege mode yet because he can't afford that upgrade at this point. We'll see if he does. You don't necessarily need siege, but it really helps against these Dragoon openings. So we'll see if that's what we get there. Uh, meanwhile, scouting around doesn't... Uh, has no idea where the Terran player is right now, which is a problem for his plan to be aggressive with these Dragoons. Spider Mines, actually the initial upgrade that we're seeing out of last. So, gonna try to handle this with Spider Mines, which, honestly, pretty good against Dragoons. Pretty excellent against Dragoons. Good, good against anything on the ground, to be honest. Just because they ignore armor. But, Robotics Facility on the way, and still no second gateway behind the expansion here from Shuttle. So, Shuttle's gonna come in and see there's no expansion on the low ground anyway, and assume last is probably built it on the high ground. Recognizes there's a tank out, takes a couple shots, and then retreats on out. So, at this stage, I don't know, man. I don't know if Shuttle wants to go forward with this aggression or if he's changing his mind. 
and is playing defensive. Again, his natural base is just about to come up about the same time that last command center is going to land, so nobody has really any much of an advantage there. And yeah, still no siege mode. Just going to go ahead and defend here with a couple tanks, a couple marines, no bunker either. Last is skipping the bunker. Recognizing the Dragoon count, we're not going to have eight or nine Dragoons here, okay? This is just, it's four total. Okay, maybe five total. Observatory on the way from shuttle. Double gateway, double gateway. There's the observatory. Wants the detection because he realizes that spider mines are probably going to be the play. If not right right now, then sometime later. And there are always going to be spider mines in TVP. No matter what. Whoa. Oh, something just flashed. And I'm like, was that lightning in my house? Oh, just a light bulb seems to be going out, so that's cool. Not a problem. Dragoon count high, and I don't know, man. I don't ugh, feel like Shuttle needs to expand now. Like, the way to beat a mecking Terran player like this is you expand a whole bunch. And then you just outproduce him. You zerg it, is what you do. You go in there with a ton of Dragoons, you pick off a tank here, a tank there, lose seven or eight Dragoons. And then just have 10 more ready to go when the time comes. That's how we've seen Terran players get beat before you guys. In this matchup. So, we'll see. I don't know. I just... I haven't really seen much success with Protoss players who are like, Well, we'll just uh, try to keep up in base count and take everything normal and kind of pretend like it's a PvP or something. But... Oh! The spider mine takes down the probe. The probe was trying to build a third base, but no. Observer comes in and says, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Yes, that's what I thought. We got vultures. We have tanks, we have three marines, the only three marines that will be produced for the rest of this entire game, and in this game in its entirety. Little shiny helmeted marines there, looking so good guys, very handsome. Very handsome behind those helmets. Observer took some shots, but is not dead, I thought for sure it had died there. Nope! Managed to escape, and is not really seeing anything to worry about. There's a factory, and a third base down. Last is playing pretty greedy guys, he does not have much of an army. I mean, by not much of an army, I mean four siege tanks with siege mode. So it's very hard to break if you happen to have a ton of dragoons as well. You know, shuttle does. So yeah, look at that. Actually out expanding the Protoss. This does not bode well for shuttle. He's going to have to get some incredible drops off, man. We're talking reaver drops. Probably not storm drops. Usually what we see here is reaver drops in this matchup if we see them at all. We'll try to keep an eye on that mini-map and watch for that orange as it moves across there. Observer again, taking some shots. Not dead! Down to 1 HP! So, careful. Careful, Observer. Yeah, man. I mean, this SCV account is kind of obscene from last. He is looking really good on all three of his bases. Another gateway coming up. Is he transitioning? Oh, that's a double Stargate Fleet Beacon transition here. Out of shuttle, so the carrier transition is real, and finally making additional factories is last at the 8 minute mark, so... Yeah, I mean, we're looking at just a ramp up of epic proportions here. We'll see if the Goliaths get out in time. Carriers take forever to build. As the probe goes down to this harassing vulture. Uh, it's got two kills. Do spider mines... Right, do spider mine kills get credited to the vulture who laid the spider mine? Maybe somebody in the comments knows. They can help me out with that. But yeah, carrier production. Let it begin. Oh, the scan. The sensor sweep immediately sees it. Like, as soon as the carrier starts, he scans right on top of that. That's got to be frustrating for sure. So it's going to be Goliath production. Just kidding. Vulture's on the way now. I guess you don't need Goliaths quite, quite yet. Right? Right. You don't need them quite, quite yet. Citadel of a dune on the way. Need those zealots. If the zealots can get, 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 get on top of the tanks, they're going to have a good time. But the problem are vultures and the problem are spider mines. And another base on the way from last. This is insanity. You can't let a Terran player get on four bases like this in nine minutes and just call it good. In fairness, Shuttle seeking a fourth base of his own up at the 12 o'clock position. But boy, howdy. Yeah, so Charon booster on the way. Three Goliaths at a time in production. Carrier capacity being researched because... You need carrier capacity. In every situation, you make carriers. It's just it's a must-have upgrade, kind of like speed for Zerglings, and what else is a must-have upgrade? I guess siege for tanks. If you're going to make any number of tanks, you need siege. Same thing with carriers. I guess you make one carrier, you don't have to get carrier capacity, because what's the point? But yeah, it's going to be... I mean, it's not all carriers here. There are definitely uh, 
Still breaking on additional gateways. <clears throat> so it's going to be Dragoons and Carriers and Zealots in the mix here. No upgrades at all for the ground units here for the Protoss. No upgrades for the mech units for Terran either. Production tab says mm, some upgrades on the way. Plus one vehicle from last. And Shuttle's working on legs for a Zealots, but that's about it. Carriers arrived. Carrier has arrived. And there it is. Two carriers ready to rock. It's not, you know, it's not four star gates. It's just the two. <clears throat> so I think that's why Last isn't going for straight Goliath. That's why he still has this bunch of a vulture tank army sitting down here. But yeah, these guys are macroing up pretty darn hard. We're 10 minutes in and there has not been a major skirmish on any level yet. It's honestly kind of hilarious. <clears throat> And we're gonna, we've got a street fight here, middle of the map. We got vultures darting in to get on top of these dragoons. Dragoons should be able to handle it, but spider mines are the great equalizer. Enough dragoon hits, or enough uh, spider mine hits, and the dragoons are gonna have to pull back. More carriers in production for Goliath at the time being produced. I mean, obviously they have the Caron booster upgrade already. Hitting like absolute trucks that are actually mechs. And another base on the way. I mean, this has just been... Let's just allow each other to macro up as hard as we can for the first 20 minutes, maybe. I mean, the Goliaths are moving out. They are not the harassing units that Vultures are. If they're coming out, they're coming out for a purpose, usually. Uh, plus one ground weapons on the way. Plus two vehicle weapons coming in from last. Nice scan and pick up of the, uh, an observer. And now the spider mine gets a hit off. Nicely done. Does end up hitting one of those dragoons. Not too shabby. Man, the red versus orange has got to be bad for you guys, doesn't it? But I can't go this because this is yellow. <laughs> yellow everything is bad for everybody. But yeah, if you're colorblind, I am sorry. I just realized this red versus orange is probably really bad for you. Additional carriers in production. And Dragoon's feeling pretty good until they see the tanks rolling out. At which point they're going to pull back to the safety of their carriers. Carrier group is four. They all have their full complement of eight. Interceptors plus one air weapons is done. Plus two is coming in here now too. It's clearing out spider mines. And again, that's what Lass is counting on. Is that Dragoon spend all their time clearing out spider mines rather than doing other stuff. Coming up this left side and coming in for a bit of a dive on top of this. Lass seems like he's positioning to come in and try to catch... Try to catch Shuttle out of position here and in the middle of somewhere he doesn't want to be, forcing an engagement. And here it is. Oh boy. All right. So coming on in, carriers retreating from the Goliath. Dragoons are running too. This is just too much. This is just too much Terran. And uh, suddenly Shuttle is in a world of trouble. He is running. He is fleeing. He might just sacrifice his fifth base entirely here on the right side. Because he had to run from it. The one Dragoon holding the line. Nope, that's not going to happen. And yeah, I mean, it's 197 to 196 supply. We're maxed out, but this is a really scary, huge Terran army. With everyone, I mean, everything you need to take down a Protoss force, honestly. Coming on in to take down the third. Tank setting up on the high ground, and that is such a great position. For those to be in, the fact that Shuttle allow that is problematic. Shuttle's third base is in a world of trouble. I know I said that already this cast. I'll try to keep it down, but... Yeah, look. I mean, basically clearing out spider mines is sacking this base, clearing out spider mines. Shuttle doesn't want to engage with us. He can't. This composition from last is absolutely perfect. Shuttle's supply blocked. He's lost an entire base. He's going to lose another base here with his tank firing on it with the plus one attack. Plus two is almost done. Carrier's engaging here just a little bit. Goliath count. I'm not sure if it's enough to hang with this, to be honest. They are getting picked off one by one here. The carrier's doing a good job kind of staying in a place where the Goliaths can't necessarily get direct hits off on them. And as soon as I say that, they start getting the direct hits. But uh, another Goliath down, another Goliath down, another Goliath down, another Goliath down. All right, so these tanks are pretty much dead. Five Goliaths at a time in production. Can the tanks take down? I think they can get that Nexus before the carriers come and kill them. Definitely, yes. So 
that's problematic engagement in the middle of just vultures making a run by here taking some shots but otherwise they're generally okay and yeah tanks get taken down but uh two kills on that tank neck two nexus is killed during that attack and shuttle is not a good place i mean sure supply is about the same here but shuttle is heavily supply blocked he's making four pylons at a time to make up for this he's sitting at about 2,000 minerals and 800 gas and he should be able to max out. Storm coming in. I do like Storm against this mech. We've seen it used against tanks pretty well and pretty effectively over time. Lass is trying to take a fifth base up along this left side, but Dragoons have been shutting this down for quite some time. They do have the plus one attack still. The plus two attack coming in. Carriers hitting on that plus two attack. Carrier group is six. I'm not sure if any of them have died, which is kind of a huge deal. Uh, the three Marines, the only three Marines you're going to see this entire game are hanging out at the front lines here. Oh, that's them. Goodbye, three Marines. We we knew thee well. Observer sight range coming in here, too. Carriers getting a couple Goliaths down before they respond to anything. That's pretty good stuff here. That is so many Goliaths, though, and they are getting the body shots. That last needs... And that's the full retreat. Interceptor is getting sniped down too. So replacing his bases because he can't afford to do so. But not able to expand further. I just think this is last game to lose here. His Goliath production has been fantastic. Got that plus two looking. Uh, plus one armor is down now. Or done now too for the Terran player. 12 o'clock position is back. For shuttle. But I mean these are the engagements right here. And once again, you just can't stand in because you're going to take serious shots to the body. Let the, <laughs> Let the insanity begin. Let the blue glowy stuff happen here. We're going to storm. We're going to try to storm a little bit. Weakening these those vultures a little tiny, tiny bit here. Tiny much. Yeah, I mean, we're maxed out to maxed out, but the carriers can't really engage with this, you know? I'm going to give you an angle that makes sense here, because carriers attack from really far away, and so do Goliaths. Still, I'm not sure if any carriers have died today, which... That takes a lot of excellent control from Shuttle. He's wiping out tanks. Taking down spider mines. Sure, going after vultures, whatever. Tanks... Tank count is only four at this point. Man, this might be a situation where this is just a dive on for the Protoss player. He just goes for it. I don't know. Plus two attack is done. When plus three is done, it gets really scary. Really scary for the Protoss really fast. These Dragoons trying to make sure no additional expansions are going to be easy for last at the very least. Carriers trying to snipe down these Goliaths. And I just, I've said this before, but I feel like it's overkill. The carriers send every one of their interceptors down onto a single Goliath and it dies, yes, but I kind of feel like the damage output of that entire soup of all the interceptors could have taken down two or three Goliaths at once. So I just wonder if it wouldn't make sense to control like three carriers at a time. I know I'm asking a lot here, but three carriers at a time, swoop, 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 right? So three Goliaths go down instead of one at a time? I don't know. I'm not sure if that's viable. I mean, I'm coming to a game that is 20 years old at this point, so... Adding new stuff is maybe not really how this is going to work. Oh, one carrier does get sniped down there by the Goliaths. Coming around the other side. Is he going to try to jump on this? The tank count is insane, and they're all sieging up here, too. Kind of feel like there was a moment there for something to happen for Shuttle, but it just did not end up happening here. He's trying to whittle down the tanks while the Goliaths are shooting him in the face here. And, yeah, says, you know what? You can kill my base, but I'm going to kill one of your bases here, too. Seri oh, a couple more hits on that carrier. It's going to die. It's got 10 HP remaining. Pulling it back. Pulling it back because it is wounded. Intercepting. Well, taking down individual <laughs> Goliaths with the interceptors. 194 to 175 supply. Last is actually down in overall supply right now somehow in some reason in some way. So Army does wipe out that base. I mean, it's just that last. I feel like he has enough income to keep this going no matter what. Carrier's not doing a great job staying off places where Goliaths can hit them. 
directly in the body here. Six kill siege tank is trying to take down this Nexus. Most of the army of shuttle is not doing anything. They're in the middle of the map here. I kind of feel like they either have to take down a base or come help with this engagement. But either way, they're going to lose a lot of units. And I think that's what the worry here is. Still, no additional carriers have died. Only the one thus far. Seven are here. Tank continuing to fire on this Nexus and is going to finish it off. Zealots coming on down from the top side. Here it is from the left side. The flank attack. Some vultures trying to join the party getting caught out in the middle of nowhere. Can they snipe down to the High Templar? They get one or two of them. Storm there. Storm there. And Shuttle manages to wipe out the entire attacking force here. 176 to 150 supply in favor of Shuttle. The Goliaths are going to kill a lot of probes and the... Sh carrier count. Everybody's bruised, missing interceptors, but they are alive at this stage. 170 to 144. So this game is feeling pretty close right now. Ooh, High Templar taking direct shots from Goliath. Not what you want if you're shuttle. That's okay. He did manage to establish a base in the top left here. Does he have cannons to defend? He's trying to get him up. The Dragoons are going to hold the line as long as they can until the cannons finish, it seems like. I mean, they are going to die because this is just way too many vultures with plus three attack. But the cannons are coming up just in the nick of time here. And the question is, how many probes can they kill? Can these vultures kill? Well, actually, they're pretty good against cannons, too. Ah, this is problematic. This is really quite problematic for shuttle. Going to lose a bunch of probes here. Cannons coming up. Three cannons coming up. But again, the vultures with the plus three attack are focusing down individual cannons. They're getting whittled down to some extent, but not as quickly as the Protoss player wishes that they would, and oh, uh, what a crazy run by here. The probes are running for their lives. There's nowhere for them to go. So many vultures running on out right now. Trying to engage, trying to snipe down the High Templar, and they're doing pretty well with it. Also walking into storms a little bit. Only two High Templar remain, though, so maybe they ended up doing their job in the end. 180 to 145 supply. Top left base is going to die. Probes forced to come back home to a place where there's no home for them. There's nowhere for them to mine from. Trying to retake this right-hand base. Shuttle trying to make that thing happen, but I don't know. I don't know about this. Dragoons are coming up to try to save this top left base, which is a really important source of income for him. The bottom right-hand section has been taken by last. Carrier's coming on in, though, to wipe it out, and there's really nothing to stop this from happening. There's a couple uh, science vessels where EMP could be okay, but the probes need to... There we go. Transferring up to the top left base immediately, or maybe just sending a single Archon down to wipe this out with a plus three attack that he has. That's kind of incredible. The Vulture is going to try to harass as best as he can. This six o'clock base represents a lot for last right now. If he can't hang on to this, I'm not sure what he's going to do with his life. His army is not going back to defend at all. He's taking a left-hand base. Is he sacking this? I don't know. Or are there just enough missile turrets that the carriers can't handle this? Science vessels get picked off. 261 supply. Tank pushing up to the 12 o'clock position and try to cut off any reinforcements from going to the top left here for shuttle two. This game is tight, you guys. It's really, really close stuff right now. It's effectively one mining base for each player. Another mining base is coming up on the right side for shuttle. And the left side base is being taken by last again. The tanks pushing up the ramp. The carriers are trying to get there to save the day. They're very slow though. And the rest of these forces are being delayed <laughs> exceptionally well by these vultures doing their delay tactics. The thing is, these carriers can wipe this out and this out and this out, I think. But the 12 o'clock base does go down to these tanks. Three kills, one kill, four kill there. Engagement in the middle of the map. Carriers forcing a lift off at the nine o'clock position. Last is forced to flee with his command center, losing a bunch of SCVs here too. This is just too close to call, but I almost feel like Shuttle has done it. Almost have those feelings. Dragoon's backed into a corner in the top left and absolutely just taken it to town there. Ooh, taking down the command center here and these missile turrets. A ton of Goliaths are out for last, though. Is he trying to focus down the command center? I kind of feel like that's what this is. It is. And the command center ends up falling. So, hmm. Kind of makes it hard to replace your base if your command centers keep dying here, eh? Still, I oh, actually made a couple new carriers to join the party. I don't think he's lost another one since that one that went down a few minutes ago. But 190 to 172 supply. The patient play of shuttle. Several of the bases have died over time here. I think the number of Nexuses killed is like one, two, 
It's like five or six, and yet he seems to be in a pretty decent position, supply-wise anyway, and income-wise anyway. He's okay, too. It's one base mining to one base mining, and Shuttle's taking this bottom right-hand base after he wrestled it and rested it from last. SCV's getting sniped down. Long-distance mining in a very dangerous neighborhood. Don't want to be doing that. I gotta say. Yeah, some Goliaths just coming into their dooms. Not somewhere you want to be, dudes. Goliath count is pretty intensely big right now. Here we go. Ground Army versus Ground Army. Storming these tanks to some level. Actually doing a pretty good job with it, too. Carriers coming from the back side. Is the Goliath count enough to hang with this? They're trying to get right into the bodies, and they're doing a pretty good job of it. Trying to drop on top of the Goliath, too. And good game. Last taps out and shuttle is your winner in 25 minutes and 58 seconds. Wow. What an absolutely patient, strategic game that was played there by Shuttle. I'm extremely impressed with his play. Again, lost so many Nexuses today, but just managed to get enough done there. Carriers getting wiped out by those Goliaths at the end of the game there, but the ground army was enough to hang. And yeah, the one time that Shuttle went for the attack onto those tanks, he managed to take them out. Pretty well, with a combination of Storm, with a combination of ton of Dragoons and the Zealots, and I kind of feel like the Vulture count wasn't high enough to really help with that either, so. Fantastic last engagement. And yeah, this is the final mining base for last. It is just not where he needs it to be at all. It is basically mined out. He's got a bit of a bank, but the gas he's not very heavy on, which you need for the Goliaths, and you need for those tanks, so. Good game, great game by Shuttle. I mean, what are we looking at? Command Center's killed is at least three. Four, I think it was there. And then five or six Nexuses that went down. Pretty great game. I don't know if I'd call it an epic match. If you guys want to call it that, let me know in the comments and I'll adjust the title accordingly. But for now, I think that was just a really good 25-minute uh, PvP. Great patience on display from Shuttle, if you ask me. 188,000 points for last 230 from Shuttle. And yeah, 401 units killed by Shuttle. Lost 278. That's a pretty good ratio in a TVP. And then uh, structures raised. Way more raised by last. Nexuses went down. Cannons went down. Pylons went down. But you'll notice no production facilities went down, I don't think. And no tech structures either. Never really got into the main base to cause any problems. So that helps Shuttle immensely. And then resources here pretty even across the board. It was a pretty close game that way. Pretty close match. A little bit more gas mined from shuttle a little bit more minerals mined here from last a little bit more spent from last but as we saw the units killed count here was nice and big and poofy for the protoss player all right good stuff well you know what that's gonna be it for me today so this has been falcon the paladin coming at you with yet another edition of starcraft brood war remastered go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.